Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and I'm going to show you how to change the copyright date in the Divi theme footer. So what you want to do is, this could be a couple of different places depending on your theme. I'm going to show you where it usually is, and then if you have a global footer, where to change that at, and then how to dynamically change the date without even touching it. Alright, so let's go into... Hey guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button, and I can keep bringing you more of these tutorials. Maybe you have a footer date, and it's into the theme customizer. All right, if you're not using a global footer, this is where your, your uh, footer change will be made. So you go into that and you go to footer and then you go to bottom bar and it's under disable footer credits if you don't see it and then it's right there. Okay, so that's the date and you can put that in there if you want, if you don't see it and you can disable it if you do want to see it. All right, so that's the first place you change it. Now, maybe you have a global footer on your uh, website. So that would look like this if you have a global footer. Okay, so I have one right here on this one. And now what I did is duplicate it to show you this example. Maybe this is what yours looks like right now is you just have the text in there. What you wanna do is you wanna go to your module settings here. And if you look right here, I'm gonna just select the 2020 date, all right? And actually, you don't even need to select it, but I'm just, that's what I have, okay? I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to go over here to this little button, this dynamic text button. And then I'm going to do, this lets you choose a lot of different things, but you want to go to current date, okay? And I'll show the current date down there at the bottom now. All right? Now you can change the date format right here. All right, and month, J, and year, or MJ and year are for, uh, you know, this format here. But if you just want the year to show, you just go to custom. All right, and then this is where those little symbols come back into play. You just go to year, capital Y. Now, if you do lowercase y, it goes to just the, the end of the year. All right, and then if you just do the month, it does, I'm not sure what M does right there, but there it does, 03. All right, so if you did month, year, all right, and then if you did month, capital Y. All right, so that's that. I'm just going to go to the year. Now, if you want to do the copyright before and after, what you can do is you can just do uh, copy your text and paste it in the before with a space at the end. And then the after, it's just, just going to be, I just put a bar and then my domain. All right, and that's how you dynamically change the copyright date there. All right, and you can use this at a bunch of different places. You know, maybe you're doing a sales page and you want to have a headline that says, Harry, this ends today, and it has today's date there. Um, but that's how you change the copyright. Guys, go ahead and check out my other Divi theme tutorials, and uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next video.